Hi, welcome everyone. There is good news. In about three years, people in Lagos can travel by rail to Abuja. Yes, right now the journey can only be made from Lagos to Ibado, which is the first section of the modernized standard gauge western rail line. The contractors have finally started survey work on the route of the Ebado Kanu section of the Western Rail Line after many years of negotiations and construction will follow immediately after. And it's no longer the Chinese that are funding the standard gauge railway, we will get to the new funding later. Initially, the Chinese expressed their willingness to fund a $5.3 billion project but their conditions and specifics of the project wasn't favorable to the Nigerian government. They earlier proposed to build a single track instead of double tracks, which would have made it cumbersome for travel. Although it's not clear if the proposal was eventually changed, well, it should be, otherwise the Chinese would have funded the project long ago. Anyway, many people will board the trains to travel from Lagos to Abuja, Kanu, Kaduna and other cities along the Western Rail Line. So making it a single track will seriously increase journey times because trains going on either side will have to wait for each other at stations in order to make a pass. And not just that, it will defeat the purpose of spending billions of dollars to build a new rail line since the narrow gauge exists from a badon to Kanu. Even beyond Kanu, there is actually nothing wrong with narrow gauge tracks. It's just the speed limitation. Narrow gauge tracks are still in use in many countries, including the United States, where they are used to transport millions of tons of cargo. Nigeria also recently started moving containers from Lagos ports to cities along the Western Railway using the old narrow gauge. And if Nigeria is building a new standard gauge railway, speed and capacity should be given the utmost consideration in the design. Because Nigeria is a huge country with more than 200 million people, the fact that there aren't many train passengers today doesn't mean there won't be many tomorrow. In fact, if train services improve, ridership will improve accordingly. Trains have a lot of advantages over road transport vehicles because they do not experience traffic. Although there is a departure time for all types of transportation, road vehicles, trains, and even planes, most road vehicles do not respect that time. You are expected to wait until the vehicle is full, unlike the train that will leave at the departure time. So less waiting time if you're riding a train. Now, coming to why speed is very important, first of all, time is money. The faster a service can be rendered, the more attractive it will be to potential customers. This applies to all services, not just trains. In a huge economy like Nigeria, where there is a massive population, fast trains should be driving the huge population like it is doing in China, Japan and many other countries. And talking about fast trains, you can find out the speed of the Nigerian trains running on the completed section of the Western Rail Line. We measured the speed of these trains from Lagos to Ibado and back to Lagos again in order to get an accurate reading of the speed. You can watch that video by clicking on the top right corner or you can get the link at the end of this video. Also, this is the time to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and remember to enable notification. Thanks. Just like we analyzed in the other video why it was wrong for the federal government to award all major railway contracts to the Chinese on the premise that they will fund the projects, unfortunately, the funds are no longer coming from them. Was it a ploy to corner all railway contracts in Nigeria? Fund one or two railway projects with the promise to fund more but on the condition that all future proposed railway projects are awarded to them. Is there a penalty for reneging on a promise? <laughs> we will never know. 
the Chinese do compete favorably on cost and speed of execution of contracts, but that shouldn't be considered because it is detrimental to the Nigerian economy. Or put the other way around, the advantages and benefits of constructing the rail line locally far outweighs what we would have gained by giving the contract to the Chinese. We can actually advance a lot by building some of these railway projects ourselves. We can take advantage of these massive projects by getting them done locally by Nigerians in order to stimulate the economy. A lot of Nigerians have gotten the experience by working with the Chinese contractor that built the Lagos Ibadan section of the Western Rail Line, also the Abuja Kaduna Rail Line. When a train derailed along the Abuja Kaduna Rail Line because of damaged tracks, it was Nigerian technicians that did the repairs. So we should take advantage and add more value to these multi-billion dollar contracts. Consider the impact of sourcing the steel and fabricating the rail tracks in Nigeria instead of the Chinese contractor importing them from China. After all, that's how the Chinese started and they've gone to the level of building massive projects in other countries. India also builds their railway projects by themselves. Even in Africa, Egypt does the same thing. Local companies build all their massive civil construction projects, including rail lines. They only engage foreign experts in fields that are not available locally. Just like the high-speed railway network they are currently building, majority of the civil works is being built by local contractors, while Siemens will provide the trains and other services. You can watch the 2000 high-speed railway network that Egypt is building right now. All video links are in the video description. Although the maximum speed of a train running on standard gauge railway is around 160 km per hour, the curve radius of the tracks also determines how fast a train can take the curve, which ultimately determines the overall speed of the train. If the curve is too deep, then the train will have to slow down to take it. If it's a small curve, the train can take it at a modest speed. Also, unnecessary slowdowns will make the trains run inefficiently, especially when the trains are diesel locomotives. So they should avoid many curves as possible, even if it means acquiring more land and paying compensation. Because speed is very, very important. The faster the trains run, the more expensive the train tickets will be, which means the Nigerian Railway Corporation will make more money per trip if the trains are fast. And they need all the money they can earn as quickly as possible to repay the loans for the project. Now, let's look at the route of the standard gauge western rail line. As you can see, from a papa port in Lagos to Ibado is completed and is 156 kilometers in length. The new standard gauge railway will start from Ibado to Ilore. This section is 200 kilometers in length. The next section will be from Ilore to Mina, which is a distance of 270 kilometers. The spur to Abuja will start from either Mina or Bida in the same Niger state. We couldn't get the environmental impact assessment report for the Ibado Kanu rail line. In the report, there will be the exact route the new standard gauge railway will follow. Anyway, looking at the distance between Abuja, Mina, and Abuja to Bida, it looks like the spur will start from Mina to Abuja because of proximity. The spore should be about 120 kilometers in length. The standard gauge railway should take the same route of the old narrow gauge, which was built during the colonial era. This will greatly reduce the compensation to be paid to the landowners along the path. The new standard gauge rail line should also have more straight lines and fewer curves so as to increase the speed of the train. 
From Abuja to Kanu, there's an existing single track standard gauge rail line. Kaduna to Kanu standard gauge rail line is under construction. Likewise, the last section of the Western Rail Line, which is the Kanu to Maradi Rail Line. You can see the total length of the Western Rail Line after all the sections are added together. We wanted to measure the train speed along the Abuja Kaduna Railway like we did along Lagos Ibado Railway, but because of recent events, we had to shelve the trip. Be rest assured, we will still make the trip and bring you the video because a lot of you enjoy the one we made along Lagos Ibado Railway. The video will be coming up as soon as we can make it. And for those who haven't subscribed, this is the time to subscribe to our channel and enable notification so that you can watch all future videos. Thanks for your support. Coming back to why the train speed is important, right now, air tickets from Lagos to Abuja is 50,000 Naira for one way. In three years' time, when this project is expected to be completed, the air ticket might have increased because of inflation. And if the train speed is fast enough, the NRC can actually charge 50% of the cost of the flight ticket. This will bring competition to the airlines and the NRC will be making bank. Let's look at the distance from Lagos to Abuja. It should be around 700 kilometers. And if they have trains that can do 140 km per hour on average, then the trip can be done in a little over 5 hours. So that means someone in Lagos can go to Abuja in the morning and return to Lagos in the evening. That's a lot of savings for people on a budget instead of paying 100,000 Naira or more to go by air. Now to funding, Standard Chartered Bank of the United Kingdom will provide a major part of the $5.3 billion needed for the construction of the Ibadokanu section of the Western Rail Line. When this rail line is completed, it will seriously improve the movement of goods to the northwestern part of Nigeria, including Niger Republic. A lot of business owners will heave a sigh of relief because it costs more than $2,000 to move a container from Lagos ports to the northwest. That doesn't include other charges and deposits you have to pay as insurance in case the container doesn't come back in one piece. This also happens in the eastern part of the country. Many business owners in the east spend a lot of money to move their containers from Lagos to Onisha and other cities in the east. Also, here's hoping that they can quickly finalize funding for the Lagos Calabar Railway, which has a spot to Onisha, of course, so that the congestion of Lagos ports will be quickly achieved. They've also modified the route of the Lagos Calabar Railway to include the Lekki Deep Sea Port because of the unique features that the Lekki Deep Sea Port will offer when it starts operations later this year. It's good that many seaports will be connected to the ever-growing Nigeria Railway Network so that business owners can export or import their goods through any seaport in Nigeria. Alright, we hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, like the video, subscribe to our channel and enable notification. Till next time, bye-bye. Swear I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken